We'll quote a little Dickens here this morning. Our cars have been in the best of times and the worst of times these last few weeks between the extreme cold to now these sunny mild days. And just like us, they might not know what season it actually is, so it's important to keep them tuned up. Richmond Blackwell owns Blackwell Automotive. He's back in studio this morning celebrating a big year at yeah. the shop. 20 years, right? Y'all yeah. been helping people. We started in 2004, so this September we'll complete it 20 years. Oh gosh, don't tell me that. Meg was born in 2004, which means she's turning 22. Good night. Richmond time goes by fast, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. So for 20 years, people have been coming and trusting their cars to you. And while you're happy to work on lots of different cars, you uh -huh. kind of specialize, right? We do. In Toyotas? In Toyota and Nissan products. But if you do happen to have a Ford, can they uh -huh. bring it to you anyway? Yeah, we can do minor things like oil changes and, and brakes and things. We don't do any diagnostic on anything except for what we specialize in. But. Well, am I right that we, especially your car battery, I'm sure, uh -huh. that really, really cold weather to now these spring-like days and real ping-pong a uh -huh. lot the next few weeks. Is that hard on a car? It is. Extreme hot or cold can take its take its toll. So if you notice the car is starting slower now mm -hmm. since the cold snap, then you may want to get it checked out. Have you been in that same location all 20 years? We have. So yeah. when you opened it 20 years ago, if you've seen Richmond on the show, then you know this about him already. He's the, he's the mechanic who will come and not talk so much about your car, but more about your life. Yeah. You wanted it to be a place where people could be comfortable coming. We did, yeah, because uh, it's changed in mindset. Used to the old repair shops, you didn't have a waiting room. You had a place to wait on your ride. But we wanted to be a place where people could come and hang out and we could develop relationships. and because a lot of the times you don't have a ride coming, like right. everybody's at work and you've got to wait while your car gets fixed. Right, so. and not to suggest that men don't want a comfortable place to wait, but mm -hmm. it was always a little bit intimidating as a woman sometimes to sit in there and, I don't know, it just wasn't yeah. our environment and you uh, make it very welcoming. Yeah, yeah, we tried to, to kind of change the dynamic, so. And now people can work from home and a lot of people will come and they don't have to miss out on anything. We've got plenty of room for people that can work there at the office. And Did you choose in part when you decided to specialize in the Toyotas and the Nissans? Is part of that because you believe so much in those cars? We do. Uh -huh. And we had some experience in the Toyota and Lexus side. And then we have some mechanics that have a lot of experience on the Nissan side. And so uh, we like to specialize because you can really get to the heart of the problem easier with cars that you know versus trying to work on everything, which some shops do a good job at that, but it's really, really hard. You have to have a lot of, pe a lot of different people with different areas of expertise and a lot more diagnostic equipment right. that's special for each car. Okay, let's talk about the brakes. Everybody's cars have brakes, mm -hmm. uh, and you said you also will do oil changes. Uh -huh. How often should you really get your oil changed or should you refer to your owner's manual for that uh, answer? You can refer to the owner's manual. We don't like to go above 5,000 miles. A lot of manufacturers are 10, 15,000 miles. Mm -hmm. But uh, if your car develops something else, say 2,000 miles after your last oil change, like your brakes start getting close or there's something else, the car's gonna go another 10,000 miles before anybody looks at it. Right. And a problem can get worse and then two, uh, here in the south where the, the humidity, the humidity can get to the oil too. So if you're, oh. if you don't drive much, we have some customers that don't drive 5,000 miles in a year. And so that may mean they're three or four years between oil changes if they wait to that 10 or 15,000 mm. mile mark. Boy, that will never be me. <laughs> I can't imagine not driving 5,000 miles. But if you work from home, mm -hmm. that could easily be you. Um, speaking of working from home in a commute, mm -hmm. a lot of my friends have said that even though this is probably good advice anyway, uh -huh. they no longer want to get below a half a tank of gas because of construction around town. You never uh -huh. know when you're gonna get stuck. <laughs> but does your engine run better if you keep a full tank of gas in um, your car? No, it doesn't really have any effect. The, okay. uh, uh, and I'm not sure if it, it does now, but used to, they said don't get below a quarter of a tank because the fuel pump is in the bottom of the fuel tank and that fuel helps to keep it cooler because it had that as insulation to absorb some of the heat off the fuel, the, uh, fuel pump. And okay. so, they said that if you kept a little bit of gas in there, you know, quarter and over, that your fuel pump would last longer. I think the last time I saw you was before Christmas and you had your jellies for sale. Uh -huh. Do you still have any for sale? Nope. As, when all Christmas gone. is over, they're gone. But you still have the artwork. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. They're actually there today changing it out. They change it out once a quarter. So if you walk in, it looks like the Grinch stole Christmas because yeah. we got all the hangers on the wall and no pictures. 
So, so where else can you go to get your oil changed, your brake pads replaced, uh, and make, uh, have, get some work done while you're there, and then buy a piece of art on your way home. Exactly. Pretty yep. great. Happy anniversary, Richmond. Well, thank you very much. Y'all are not open on the weekends, correct? No, Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30. Okay, and here's where you can find them, 648-8001. They're right there at the Eastgate Loop. Eastgate Loop, so very convenient for everybody. Call, make an appointment, and you'll be very glad that you did. Thanks. Well, thank you.